Hello YouTube modeling community. It's Peter Burks here with a really quick update and a ramble on a Sunday night. Um, just thought I'd post something that uh, I've been working on just to show that I'm still alive. Um, going back a little ways in time, back about 40 years when I graduated from university, I was really big into model railroading. And at that time, you know, I did a prototype type model railroad that I it was following the Southern Railway in the United States but I always really wanted to get into my own uh, proto freelance um, model railroad so I created one it was called the Weasel Creek and Western and I designed a logo and I also um, hired Greg Komar in Florida to do some dry transfers for me and he did and he came up with uh, these based on my design I also at that time purchased an Alps 5000 die sublimation printer which was capable of doing the white printing because as you know trying to get white print is very difficult. The Deco manufacturers use um, silk screen printing. I'm not sure what process Greg used but he was capable of doing it. Unfortunately uh, I didn't get very many cars done before a fire destroyed the Alps printer and uh, my model room so for the last 40 years or so I've been doing without and I've recently come across a new technology uh, called a ghost toner cartridge which will print in white and I thought that yeah it's time to restart this project so I decided that I would retain my uh, my standard logo design but I would flip it from you know clear letters on white to white letters on clear and after I scanned this image in to Microsoft Word I drew up and replicated it in black and white so this is the logo that I'm using um, this was then saved as a, a JPEG and I was able to reduce it down with fairly decent scaling to something which matches the original logo that I had but just reversed. I also created the lettering uh, for the the main name on the boxcar as you can see here and here and I've also created the numbering. I have yet to do the dimensional data for this you know this number here and this these were all laid out in a table format in Microsoft Word to just do the spacing. Um, the font worked out to be about five font um, bold and this is like six font bold and you get into like three font here. I also created at the same time a set of decals that would cover a flat car that I've been working on um, that I did not have any decals for um, and this is um, what they look like now for printing I use experts choice clear decal film Micromart also sells uh, decal film but uh, they didn't have the blue backed decal paper and uh, this is it this is in blue um, and when you print white decals, I learned this like 40 years ago, you really need the blue decal paper or a pink decal paper to be able to see the white decals to cut them out. If you print these white decals on a piece of white conventional decal paper, you'll never see them. The other thing is, is that you can buy decal paper in two different forms, one for inkjet and one for laser jet and this is for laser jet because that's how the toner cartridge uh, works it, it works on uh, for laser printers this is the cartridge itself and it's ghost made in Germany and it's www.ghost-white-toner.com um, I think it was like three hundred and fifty dollars and I bought it for the printer that uh, I have which is a uh, just an HP uh, laser jet printer um, so you you get your artwork ready in black and white 
you replace the black cartridge in your printer with a white one and give her a go and basically what you wind up with is white decals you can also use the decal paper with um, the black cartridge back in it to print conventional decals and I'll talk about this a little bit later the decals work really really well the uh, they come off the the sheet really nicely they lay down very well and the film almost completely disappears once you spray them with a flat uh, finish which is I, I use uh, lucky varnish from uh, MIG they almost completely disappear and it's really really nice to have the the option of doing all kinds of different lettering that you want for your various different types of freight cars this is a conventional flat car and I also did one as a wheel car here sorry this is the wheel car I believe nope this is the wheel car nope this is the wheel car right here it has the wheel car right here uh, which you can't really get anywhere else um, unless you make it yourself and then you stack a set of wheels on it this is a titchy freight car um, I really like building these and I bought them used for ten dollars and put them together in an evening um, and then do the wood grain on top of them so it turns out really really well and I'm very very happy that I now have uh, an option for doing my own railroad names in white decals and I can finish off all of the other um, unlettered freight cars that I've been putting together over the years like I say you can also you know print conventional decals with color like this um, for this this is for a, uh, a gas station and these images come as just printouts on paper and they do have a background in here which is kind of an off yellow now it's very difficult to match that off yellow you know to the the color that you actually paint the wood surface of the building so to get around that I scanned this in and then used like a magic lasso to get rid of the background color in here and replace it with clear so now I have red on clear and printed this out as a decal and I could apply that to the building like this and it blends right in and I don't have to worry about matching the the yellow color on the original uh, printout that I got from the manufacturer to the color that I painted the building so it works out very good and like I say this decal paper really really adheres well one thing I did find that as I work this to try to get it to set in it started to peel up the colors a little bit which gives a really really nice effect of a worn paint sign I'm very happy with that if I don't want that to happen what I'll do is spray the decal prior to application with microscale liquid decal film and that will toughen up the the laser um, material on the decal so that it won't peel up when I hit it with microset so that's basically where I'm at um, thought I would share this with everybody um, there's now some really good options for doing your own white decals for model railroads so thank you very much I hope everybody has a really really great uh, 2022 uh, I sure hope to do so and I'll keep building stuff here at the workbench thank you